It is starting and there is only one way that this clown show ends and that is in a gigantic dumpster fire. Cue the fire and Michael Burry takes one to the coin purse yesterday with the Fed. Sell, sell, sell. Yeah, I think uh, I think Jimmy huh, had a little one on him. And it's not breaking news, but Burry deletes his Twitter account for the 798th time. Jerome Powell knocks Michael Burry off of Twitter. And it's actually uh, this guy. Look at him. And blood shall rain down upon all who opposes me. But what are we doing today, Jimmy? Are we uh, buying or selling? Oh, wait, wait. He changed his tune. And actually, over the last week or so, I've been siding with this guy. And I never do, which actually kind of scares me a little bit. And my apologies. I'm peacocking it today. And the hair just does what the hair wants to do. Actually, yesterday I was at dinner and a little girl to the table next to me leans over and she goes, What's wrong with your hair? Why is it doing that? And I said, Viagra. Parents piss themselves on the floor. She's like, what's Viagra? I'm like, well, that's how you got here. But breaking news coming in from the jobs that you absolutely do not. Well, I hate jobs. I'm just telling you. I don't know, you guys. You start, you got your side hustle going. Is it starting to build up something? You learning something? No. Still uh, clocking in and clocking out. My apologies. That is not the dent you wanted to leave in the universe, even though it's okay, I get it. We all we all gotta start somewhere, but you wanna end somewhere. I'm just saying maybe, unless you don't want to, then that's okay. US labor market, this is what I wanna talk about, even though the stock market is ripping everyone's face off, which I said it would, and you're like, no, you said it was gonna go down. I did, and then I said it was gonna go up, and then what's it gonna do after that? It's gonna go down again, just like that, never mind. U.S. labor market seen cooling, but not nearly enough for the FUD. January payrolls expected to climb by 190,000. Economists see hourly earnings rising 0%. And U.S. payroll growth, the, the amount of money that you guys get uh, paid, softened to the weakest pace since 2020. Again, how's your side hustle? How's your business doing? One of my daughters flew into Austin. Party time! I can't stand that. Six kids, they all fly out like, let's get drunk, dad. Oh, that's a terrible idea. And if by any chance you have a drinking problem, do not come to the city of Austin. It will only get worse. Now, she, I, she does bartending. And I'm like, how's, how's the job? She's like, it sucks. I hate it. But one of my friends started doing these little garnishes things. She makes so much money. She left bartending. I'm like, yes, exactly. That's what you got to do. Find someone that's successful that, or who wasn't, who was bartending. And now she's like, wow, she's killing it. Just copy her. But dad, I can't copy her. That's not right. I guess for any of you in my audience that is doing, wants to know what could be a successful business, I guess this is, and she's not going to do it. You go do it. And now my brain's going and I have to look at Amazon. How much are they making on Amazon? Just kind of curious. This wouldn't be too difficult to do, right? Dehydrated fruit in a box. Making uh, $10,000 a month. Okay. On this channel, I'm just trying to help you to stop doing said job. How about run a trainer? Who's a trainer? Woo. I mean, this is not rocket science. You have a dehydrator. Baker's fruit. How much you making? Tra trainer? Tra trainer? Come on. Come on. Give me... Give me the number. And I know it's not cool when you're at a bar and girls like, so what do you do? Well, I sell, uh... I self freeze dry. What a hundred and thirty-two thousand a month, sixty-six thousand dollars a month. Just think about that for a second. I think I'd rather be doing that than doing this. But you need people doing this because you got to get your dried fruit to people. And also, just to let you know, whenever I do a manufacturing job story, you want to know the big picture. It's going down every single year. Look, manufacturing jobs now twelve thousand. Manufacturing jobs in two. 2,000, 17,000. See, we're losing them because we need to produce these things right up here, dollars, right, for the for the whole world. And then that would be you. You have to pay that back in your taxes, 250,000. Well, that is unless I bump it a couple years, then it's $320,000. By creating a whole lot of bonds. And where do those bonds go? They go right into my pocket. See, all this money that's produced, it needs to go somewhere. 
That's why I teach you to trade equities. But I mean, first I want, before you trade equities, I mean, I know I like it because it's like playing video games. It's so much fun. I do it all day long. You, I went from COD to like, I don't know what rhymes with COD. Maybe LOD, lot of money. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying this one, but it's, it, and for those of you like, what's COD? Call of Duty. Sorry. Act, act your, act your age, but you should start by selling stupid junk. I don't care. Dried fruit, plastic things out of China that I broke his nose off. So, Sorry, little buddy, I broke it. Also, it's your lucky day whenever I go down a rabbit hole trying to save you, to start something, I don't care. When I mention Amazon, I'm like, okay, you can have my Amazon course, 100 bucks, today's it. Bravo, 100 bucks, I paid 1,000, why so, why so less? Well, that's because I want everyone, to, like, change your brain. My golly, US factory gauge falls for fifth month to lowest since 2020. That's probably when we were in lockdown. You couldn't even factory gauge anything. You were, no one was doing anything worldwide in lockstep because that's what all the governments already knew ahead of time. Uh, bravo, I'm sorry to cut in, buddy, but you can't use the word lockstep. The algorithms, they don't, they don't like it at all. And also for you guys that are like, Bravo, why are your thumbnails so Clue, uh, you don't need to do that. And your titles, oh my gosh, every day, end of the world. I just want to let you know that I do that. I am in charge of that. And if it wasn't for that or me, your little Bravo wouldn't be here. And Bravo's just trying to support a family, like me and my mom, Karen. Which if, if there's any older or really younger guys in the audience, my mama, I'll show you, hold on. Mom, get over here and show, show everyone your hot. Hot lady parts. Uh, hi everyone, yeah, I'm single, I'm Karen. No Karen, stop, all you do is freak everyone out. Man, you gotta lose some neck fat. US fact, sorry, squirrel. Hey, look, we have people that are gonna tell you how bad it is. Sport sure, orders. Tim, go. I was breaking 50, first time in quite some time. Customer inventories. I like to see it a lot less, but it's not growing. And then the backlog <laughs> actually contracted again, but not at the same fast rate that it was in December. So overall, you know, not so bad on the demand side. Demand is still elusive. We are waiting for those new orders to kind of open up. But then I also think the big story of the month here is that uh, our panelists clearly feel that they don't want to release a whole bunch of employees here. They, they, it appears, and I think a lot of what you've been reporting in the all right, I'm gonna pause you to explain. And let's head over to the Purchasing Managers Index. Let me just kind of give you an explanation, okay? So we go into lockdowns, right? Oh, everyone, you can't even produce anything. Then we come out of it. Everyone has stimmies. Oh, we gotta, we gotta hire people, right? Oh, what, what happened there, right? Expansion? Well, we have all these employees. Look, look, all, now, now we've been in contraction and we're just kind of hoping, do we really have to let everyone go? Oh, okay, we made it through December. Yeah, right, we're at that contraction, not good. The orders aren't coming in. People in China, they're all out of lockdowns. Now they're like, yeah, so that everyone's kind of hopeful on that one. But at the end of the day, sorry, we're gonna have to let you go because people don't have money and they're not buying. That is unless you have a business, right? then you have a lot of money. Well, if you have a business, it doesn't mean you have a lot of money, but I'm just erring on the side of, you probably have enough to be able to buy the things that you want or whatever, go on the trips you want. You make employees be your passive income, which they don't want to tell you about in school or college. They just tell you, get into lots of debt, which leads me into this red line. This is what your credit card debt looks like all time high. And we're in a contraction. I wonder what's going to happen next. You have credit card debt and then you have your savings rate at an all time low. I don't see any way out of this. Well, that is unless you wanna give people different type of stimulus programs, right? But then you create bonds, you go into more debt, your taxes go up and the wheels on the bus fall off. Which is the same bus that you probably are on called the struggle bus because now you have to consume lots of alcohol, which those sales are up or gamble a lot praying that you're gonna get the lucky number, which you're probably not. You should probably uh, maybe learn how to hit, you know, hit little little bunts by trading equities. I could make a thousand dollars that you blow in those kind of things, go to a million a lot faster than you're gonna try to hit home runs 
winning that winning lottery ticket. And actually, just to show you that the math works, Albert Einstein said this is the greatest invention known to mankind. And it's being used against you in your credit cards, in the bond market, all of this with interest, right? Every time they create currency, they have to create something to pay it off with. What do we got to create more? Interest. And everything's interest. You deposit money, interest. You take out a lot. Everything is with interest. If you, if just at grandkid, you're, you know, you're a kid, you're not a grandkid. You're going to give your grandkid five grand. But when he's 30 years old, if he's works really hard every day and gets 20%, he's at uh, one point, almost $2 million. Or if you're currently 20 years old and you have five grand, right? Over the, by the time you're 50, and if you're like, I'm gonna live to 100, more than half of your life, you are a millionaire. And you don't even need to add to it. See, annual edition, nothing. I'm just like, you take five, that's it. You just let it roll. You wanna know what you're, you're looking at on the 31th year? Thir is the 31th year. 1.4 million. Oh my gosh, it's really growing. Yes, that would be called compound interest. Add another year or so, now you have 2 million. And that is why the rich get exponentially richer but you got to get there first and you're not going to be able to do it by being a bartender. Well, I mean, you could still five grand and trade. All right, you got me on that one. I'm just trying to move these numbers quicker by you starting a little side hustle, hiring people to do the things that you don't want to do. I have no idea what job this is. It doesn't look like it's something that it's a, a worker checks equipment. Okay. Ice stone manufacturer. And how is this all gonna go? And he's probably gonna go home, be frustrated that the rich keep getting richer and the poor get keep keep getting poor. And that is because it is the monetary system of musical chairs that was set up before he was even born. And then the rich pass it along to their kids like I did, or my high school kids, or my college students, or whoever I run into, or people on YouTube, which maybe you want to subscribe because maybe you haven't been here for five years since I've been on the platform teaching people every single day to try to get you out of this ditch that you're in. But you have to understand it first, and then the life goal goes off. Usually it takes a process. But U.S. manufacturing right now, February 2nd, is in a recession. And really soon, these jobs, these people that they just hired, which I just scaffolded and I showed you that they're gonna be let go. And yes, I get it, it's not fair. Life isn't fair. God's not fair. You see, some people are born with no arms and no legs. Most people would say that's not fair. Unless you're born that way and you're like, I'm good. Life is about perspective and how you look at it. Find joy in everything and you'll probably have a joyful life. I'm just saying. And here we go, back to how the system works. PayPal shares rise. That means, and I, I think I own PayPal, just to let you know. PayPal shares rise, yay! The rich get richer, announcing 2,000 job cuts, and the poor get fired. And this is how the system goes down. Oh, hey, look, living paycheck to paycheck. 64% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. Over half identified as making over $100,000. People that are living paycheck to paycheck are making a, over $100,000. Thank you for that video. That's very, very good. Millions of Americans. I, that is just shocking to me. You make over $100,000. What, you're doing something wrong there, uh, Bob and Larry and Scott and Brad. At that point, you should probably listen to, uh, I'd say Dave Ramsey. That would be a good one for you where he would say, act your wage. Now, I don't agree with most things that Mr. Ramsey says, but some things for the, you know, for most people, okay, I gotcha. But I do have to say, I pull my hair out when he says other things like, get, get out of debt. Well, the, it's a debt-based system. You can't. The system, the, the monetary system is only debt. 98% is debt, which really confuses people, but that's how the system is. Debt has to get bigger. That uh, U.S. Uh, debt clock that I show you, the only way that we are going to have an expanding an economy is if the monetary system gets bigger. What is the monetary system? It's the debt-based system. What is a debt-based system, you ask? I go into a bank and I say, hey, I want a loan. How much? $1 million. Poof. They don't, the bank doesn't have a million dollars, but for some reason, the digits show up on your side, or maybe they'll give you a check and you have to pay it back over 30 years with interest, you see? Money is created, economy expands, you go into debt, the bank looks at that as an asset, it is a liability for you, but you're like, but I bought a house. I think Dave Ramsey is telling everyone to buy houses right now, which, okay, Dave, 
but I, but I buy a house and then I have equity and look at how rich I am, but you're not. And it's very difficult to sell that said house, right? It's I, how much I can take a million dollars. I can make $10 million with a click. Oh, click a button. Poof. There we go. Oh, buy. Click. It could be a housing market index, which I have showed you. And I could just make money that way rather than having to go through the hassle of like, oh, okay, guys, pack everything up. We got to sell the house again. U.S. home prices fall. Huh? I thought only uh, uh, houses go up, uh, fall, fall for a fifth straight month and then a sixth straight, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. And now we're underwater, uh, but I want to sell. Oh, now I can't sell because I'm underwater. That's why I jump up and down and teach you how to do this, how to click a button to trade it, which if you want to trade it, like the Philly housing sector index, regardless of what the housing market's doing, just trade the charts, which right now you are so overbought. I don't know. Everyone thinks uh, market's good. Yeah, well, the, the housing sector. So uh, this would actually, uh, I made this trade, I think on the channel. I even drew it. Oh my goodness, look, see? See that right there? MACD, learn this. You buy here, you don't sell yet. You know, let me let me just move this down so you can see it. This was actually a swing trade, which we are now in a bull market in so many different things. Now my macro picture, I've said this for probably over a year. We're gonna go up, okay? <laughs> but then we're gonna go down really hard. And I just, I, I want you to take advantage of the up, I want you to take advantage of the down. And if you're totally new at this, I'll do the swing for you right here. This is it. See the 200? That's that white line. Oh, also 70% off. Link in the description. Start with my swing trade. Start doing this and you'll get it. Oh my gosh, look, we retested the 200. Again, 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 you see? We find support. Oh, okay, I think we're safe to go into the water. We finally, we go up, we get a beat down, uh, we come up, there is one candle close above the Bravo 9. That's that red line. Now you you close, once you get a full candle close, not on that red line. So that one, you could actually kind of hold on to it. You're like, do I let go? Or like, it's it's still, we got a wick hanging there and a little bit of a, and you just write it. What 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 have we done here since I did this since Jan January? Woo, that's nice. And we're up 18, 18%. See, just on one trade. And now for everyone's like, oh, 20% compound interest. Yeah, you try to get 20%. Okay, I have been, and this is what I do all day long. Bunts, just little bunts. Like I just took one out on SPY last week. And all of these patterns repeat over and over and over again. The Qs, the NASDAQ, the bond market, the everything. I could, t I could predict where it's gonna go. And no, it's not 100% accurate. Nothing is. Even your marriage vows, which you promise, right? I promise I will never have a fupa. What happened? I promise I will not be a dude who wears Crocs. Why am I wearing them? They're so comfortable. And she was like a Dr. Seuss book when you were dating her. She's like, yes, I will do it here. I will do it there. I will do it everywhere. I will do it up a tree. I will do it with the bees. It's like a, it's like a, a, a book, right? That probably changes very quickly over time. It's like a romance that turns tragedy, but it's okay. We all go through it. Also, on the spy, I could, I could do these all, all day long, I, and I'd, I'd really love to. You're 200, same thing. Uh, my price target was 420. It's actually, uh, that, that was because it was, I don't know, what was I? Oh, I think Lux Algo. I'll turn Lux Algo. Your, your real legit price target on this one, kids, just letting you know is is quite a bit higher. So get get your hopium pills up and uh, let this one rip. Uh, so it's up, it's up here, but I'll, I'll show you. Let me turn on Lux Algo and show you where you should probably really consider uh, taking some profits. Also, link in the description if you want Lux Algo. See this in this range? Yep, yep, yep. Johnny Bravo be taking some profit where the rest of the world is like, why is the market going up? What's the Fed doing? I thought they're tightening. Yes, they are tightening. TLT, I could go down the list. See the, oh, the bond market. Hey, guess what, kids? Uh, we're, we're getting ready to rip. You just tested, the bond market just tested the 200 day moving average. Dump, dump, dump. You kind of got rejected right there though. Oh, and just in case you want to know where yields are going, uh, here, we could we could click on these all, all day long. You want, how about the, uh, what the Fed uh, follows? Well, that's a descending wedge. 
and watch it break lower. Or a descending triangle on the uh, 10 year yield. Oh, there's your 200, see the red line? Oh guys, I know the Fed's tightening even though why are interest rates going lower when the Fed's going up? It's because the Fed doesn't control interest rates and they don't print money, which I've showed you on this channel, which I don't even know why they allow me to have a channel if I'm here actually telling you the truth. Right here, it's gonna break that, and whoopsies. Guess what's gonna happen on the 30 year? See, a triangle, guess what's gonna happen? You measure from here to here, you measure it down. There's your 200. We're going lower, yeah, your credit card payments are going down. You wanna know what's going up? The stock market, and also, why is Bitcoin? going up well look at the dollar i mean that's a crazy one big that i don't trust you little bitcoin but uh in in market dynamics yep i'm i'm, I'm getting it uh the two and i said wait also wait for a pullback uh, okay long long story didn't even want to go go to the corn uh your nasdaq there's your 200 day moving average what happens when we get above it well we, we're going higher and on the dollar we're going lower see two here is it your here's your 200 right there we got under it all right we also have a descending triangle. We broke below it. I mean, this is just, plus we have resistance. Couldn't make that. Dollar goes down, everything else goes up, including the bond market that is in an ascending triangle, which it's gonna break right there. And then it's gonna go higher. And then I'm finally gonna make money on this trade. Also for those of you that are like, what well, tell us, UNG, what are we doing? And stop it with the boils. Those, that's up 4% today, don't stop. Those are intra intraday, you get in, you get out. You take your 4%, you run. That's it. Uh, still on uh, gas, you gotta get above that red line. You are at a nine. So you are so overextended when this sucker pops. Oh my golly, Wally. And oh my gosh, I am so sorry I went so long, which would actually be probably a first time for me. Yeah, just happens with age. But thank you guys for making it to the end. If you haven't subscribed and you're already here, either take advantage of learning how to do this stuff or subscribe or throw me a like. Throw, throw me a bone there, Paul, and I will see you tomorrow.